At some point within your application, you're probably going to need to include external JavaScript or even internal JavaScript files, but only on specific pages. So we're going to look at within Laravel how we would do this best within templating. And obviously Laravel is extremely good with templating with the Blade templating engine. So let's first of all define a couple of routes and just redirect these or, or render some views. So for the first one, let's make a view called home. Uh, and let's go ahead and just duplicate this and we'll call this pay for example. And this might be some kind of payment page or journey or something like that. So inside of our views folder, let's create these two now. So the first one is home and let's save this out as home.blade.php. And we obviously have another one which we've created called pay. So let's say pay.blade.php and write pay in here. So over in the browser now, we've got the home page and then we've got the pay page. Now in the pay page, I want to include an external uh, JavaScript library from another provider. So perhaps we're taking payments with Stripe. Uh, which is a uh, credit card payment uh, company. So we may want to include the script on this page, but not include it on home because that's going to slow things down. So let's set up our template to actually deal with this. This is extremely easy. I'm going to create a new folder uh, in here called templates. And inside of here, I'm going to create a new file and I'm just going to call this default. So we've just basically got a standard template. You might already be using templating within your project, in which case you can just modify this uh, to work. So let's just create a standard document in here. We'll just call this website or something like that. And inside of the body, you would obviously find yourself adding your scripts down here. So you'll probably have a script to a file maybe in public. So let's just create a JS folder and create a new file in here. And this might be some kind of global JavaScript file that you just use absolutely everywhere within your application. So inside of here, we can just link to that um, using asset JS global.js. So now what's going to happen is when we uh, actually use the template, so on home, let's just extend templates dot default and in here let's create our content so I'll just say home and obviously in default what we need to do down here in the body is yield the content so we just yield content so what we now get is on our home page ah, let's just Extends. There we go. So if we view the page source, you can see that we've got the script there to our global uh, JS file, and everything's working here. If we just bring up our console, you can see it's console logging what we put out. So that's the the JavaScript that we want on every page. Let's just um, copy and paste this into pay, and we'll call this pay. So now we have home and pay both including the same JavaScript. Now what we want to do is we want to say, well, on the pay page, we only want to include um, our Stripe JavaScript library, but we don't want to include it on home. So how do we do this? Well, there are obviously a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, one way would be to go ahead and paste this down here. So we'll just paste the URL just in here. So you could do this, and then on your page, we have um, this script here, but it's a little bit messy. Um, the reason being is that we're actually including this up here and if there's any content after this, for example, a footer in your template or something like that, so for example in the template you might have a footer down here and this is your website footer, then you are seeing the following. So we've got a script included up here and that's actually blocking. So what we want to do is we want to dynamically be able to include this on that page, on that same pay page, but have it appear down here. And preferably we want this to appear above these scripts here, uh, just in case we need to do anything additionally in here. It doesn't really have to be that way, but it depends on what you're including. So how do we do this? Well, inside of pay, let's just modify this slightly and let's uh, include a new section. So I'm going to call this section script and I'm going to say stop and we can go ahead and just paste this in here. Let's just do this. 
So there we go, we've now got a section called script. So that's obviously not going to appear on this page now because we've not actually uh, yielded the content within default. But now what we can actually do is down here, we can yield scripts. So now on any page that we want to include this in, it now includes it down here, out of the way of the rest of your content, and it's a lot easier to maintain. So we've now got our pay page, which actually goes ahead and includes our Stripe library. There we go, that's included. And then on the home page now, that doesn't get included because we don't need it. And we've not added it to a script section uh, inside of here. We've just got our content section. So that's a really good way that you can dynamically include scripts where you need them on specific pages. Uh, and this is, um, in my opinion, a nice clean solution. And it's easily maintainable. You can just head over to this and modify them and you can add obviously multiple uh, lines if you need to here.